This county supervisors, meantime, are taking action to get money to fix roads damaged in the aftermath of the CZU Lightning Complex fire. County supervisors say that a subcontractor, Anvil Builders, did $4.4 million in damage to North Coast roads during debris removal. That coming, of course, after the fire. Well, today, residents talked about how it's made it very difficult or impossible to get to their homes. So I was right there with all the big trucks coming and going and was able to see the changes in the road as it happened. They use these big articulated trucks called haulers in some of the harder to access areas. And those are the areas that really got chewed up um, because those types of vehicles did a lot of damage to the roads. They created this, what we call moon dust. It was like a foot deep of this fine, almost like talcum powder um, dust that's been very hard to deal with and has created problems with the road since then. And the damage is now getting worse and worse now that we've had some more rains. And I'm thinking it won't be too long before emergency vehicles won't be able to get up there to those three surviving homes. Today, supervisors asked county leaders to work with state and federal officials to bring in funds to try and fix the roads. I also directed the board chair to send a letter to Governor Newsom asking for his help. Of the 4.4 million in damages, 2 million done to the last chance road north of Davenport. We did get a statement from the company involved. Anvil released this statement to us today. It reads, quote, at all times, Anvil operated within the confines of its contractual requirements with Cal Recycle and only utilized equipment that was authorized under that contract to perform the remediation we were hired to do, unquote.